Cool. Cool with that? You cool with that? Yeah? Sweet. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, we have an issue. <clears throat> well, sh Guess who's back? Well, I said the vlogs were about transparency. This is about as transparent as it gets. <laughs> so promptly after releasing the video, saying the vlogs are coming back, um, flu. M many of the flus. Yeah. It seems like whenever you have these uplifts, sometimes life just goes, oh, oh wait a minute. Ah, yes, that looks good. I got sick, then the missus got sick, and then I got better, the missus got better, the little one got sick. So I spent time with the little one and avoided uploading. If you were following me on Instagram, you'll have seen that I, uh, I did. I, I put it out there saying, hey guys, listen, it's going to be a bit late. The little one's been sick and I am... <laughs> and so I was going to prioritise the little one over getting the edits up. And then I went AWOL. Why? Because I've been there. Sweating. This is pretty disgusting, but look at that. Look, you can literally see the fever patch. Blech. I do not smell good right now. <coughs> oh. Basically, this has been me. I've got no training done. I've got uh, nothing. Everything. Everything I wanted to do. Everything just kiboshed. Oh my God. Wait, we're going to have to hide that. It's just horrendous. Wait here a second. That's better. Now you can concentrate. <laughs> This is real life. You can have all the will in the world and all the motivation, um, but sometimes shit can just trip you up. And I'm not going to lie, I felt like absolute dog meat, both physically and in here. But, um, f*** it. You know, it is what it is. I think I've got three different illnesses, um, just all cycled around because it's kids in the house. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're a joy. And yesterday was the worst. I'm feeling slightly better today, but I still haven't been able to train. And the whole point of these vlogs was to be able to train, wasn't it? And show you the training. So I don't quite know what I'm going to do now, other than um, you're going to get a merge and, a, and of everything that's gone on up till now. And then tomorrow morning, I'm going to try and train and um, hopefully squeeze that into the vlog prior to uploading. So you've got at least a little something, something. On a bonus, though, that what we can do in the following vlog, because there will be a following vlog... And we will do a rebound um, to show you what happens with glycogen retention when you haven't trained for like 12 days. And then all of a sudden you pile in your carbs around your training, around your training, and then get a hell of a pump because you get that glycogen retention come back. And it's the time where actually you felt the shittest, but after that first session, you will feel like a god. And you will look like you're roided up to the nines if you get the carb and fat balance right before that workout. That is a heck of a mental booster. But I'll be able to show you the transition from flat to overly full and explain why the body does that in the next vlog. So at least there's something good that's come out at the end of this brown rainbow. <sighs> anyway, I'd like to just say, if you have joined in, thank you so much for putting up with the lateness. Thank you so much for still sticking with me. And thank you all so much for the amazing amount of support from that first video. So uh, with that being said, Let's get into this vlog, which although is not as planned, it does have a pretty sick surprise, which will link you through to the brand new channel, which is linked below. Enjoy. <laughs> oh, God. Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> Try and take our van from us. So you know when, when like a date arrives and then the woman who's been in your life many years does that thing where they turn around and go, you know what it is tomorrow. You obviously look at them blankly. Yeah. With a, There's a crowbar. With a vacant stare and a crowbar in your hand. <laughs> and you're like, uh, Pancake Tuesday? Yeah. No, 700th year anniversary. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. So, just to double down on making me feel like an absolute She's just been talking about this thing she's found for us that she was trying to get delivered but can't. So we're now going to go pick it up. But it's a surprise. But then I just got given the cash monies for the surprise. So I've got a wadge in my pocket. A wad. A wadgy wadge. A considerable. A considerable wadge. Yeah. That's why you're with us. Into the blinding sunshine we go. I'm not going to complain about it. Bring it on. But is it something that this person makes? Don't know. So this is all I know. It's not alive. Okay, a good job. The person suggested that kind of money. So, yeah, and yeah. a van, a lion. <laughs> <laughs> a lion. It would require three people to move it. So I said, is it outside or inside? She said, inside. I oh, see so you've got to put this back inside. 
Odds on her buying a piece of furniture that she really likes and just got me to come here on, on the presents, it's a gift. It's probably got one little man carved into it for a Tom Hawk and she'd be like, that just suits you. <laughs> Do you know, my mum tried that one on me before. Picture like this big. Yeah. And I took it out and she's looking at me like, it was just a giant tap, right? Okay. And I'm like, it's a tap. She goes, look closer. So now I'm looking for something like personal, like maybe etched into the tap. Yeah. She goes, yeah, but look on the end of it. On the end of the tap was this little dude, like he was diving off the edge. The dude on the end of it was a little bit muscular. <laughs> yeah, there is no more to that tail. <laughs> I don't even, I forgot I had these on my face. These are blue light glasses. You, you look smart and intelligent. Well, that's it, I look less threatening, don't I? <laughs> well, I've got to compensate for your tattoos. Well, that's why I put the hoodie on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've come to look after your toddler. <laughs> that is very true. We look like we've just nicked a van. Yeah. You've rocked up. They've stolen my mobile phone, got the information, and now they're at the door. Yeah, filming us. <laughs> right. Yeah, we'd be the worst criminals ever if we were filming ourselves. I know, yeah. Hello. Hello. I'm here to pick up a, a gift I know nothing about. You don't know anything about it? Um... Yeah. Oh, it's cool. Is it cool? Yeah. <laughs> it's not a man on tap. Oh, that is very cool. We have to transport this. Mm. Oh, it's got a mirror. Mm -hmm. Okay, how are we going to do this without breaking it? Let's pull it by the crowbar. <laughs> I'm pretty confident we can say at this very moment we're the only two men in a van that has been previously broken into and looks like it's been stolen, that just picked up a telephone box from a stranger's house that they had no idea they were going to collect. Yeah. You jokingly said about a TARDIS. And you, it they, is! You picked up a wooden TARDIS. <laughs> this is like an anti-airbag. This is like if you definitely wanted yeah. to not survive. Man. You would be very nicely displayed for the police to identify after that. Your chin would just be sat quite nicely on there. Just my head, just yeah. bounced around. Ah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Jesus. You look like a strong man, you want to go out of the stone? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Actually, it is though. That's the worst thing. So we've got an empty van. And while you do that, I'll get... You need to come down. All right. Oh, we need them. Oh. Not need you, sir. Okay, the world's most precarious loader. You'll see why in a minute. You could torture someone with this. Sit them on the edge of the van and hold their legs. Oh, and drag them. Yeah! Oh, that made me feel funny inside. So, a testicle torch device. Ready for. Now. So, this was my original first big bike. This is coming with us today. This is Lee's, which was a bandit. Suzuki bandit, yeah. Suzuki, which he's custom made. Little bit of a hinty, hinty, hinty who? As to the special place for taking you. Why? Because somebody's had some, the equivalent of bell palsy on a bike. That little thing is not broken, but to put that back, you have to take all the face off, take the headlight out, heat gun that apart, just to clip that back in, to then have to reseal it, reseal it, and redo the whole thing and put it all back together. So instead of doing that one thing... You gave me an angle grinder. Angle grinder! You're getting made into something that looks a little bit like a that. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Are you hanging on the edge of your eye? So one reason this is actually not being ridden at the moment is not because I don't enjoy it anymore, but the, uh, the fork seals are doing a little wee. Uh, brake discs plus fork oil. What's it up? Crates again. Oh, yeah, the death. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the death. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the big D. Yeah. It's where you press something and nothing happens. <laughs> you just get a life transition that's a bright flash. Fire. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be nice though when it's all chopped up. But if I nip into town, I can just jump on this rather than taking the blade, worrying about getting a 130 mile an hour speeding ticket in a 30 zone. Whee! Let's start. Ooh. Oh no, I think the battery's going to give up before it goes. Go on, girl. With the lights on? Yeah. Oh, dumbass. Yeah. Time to test your jump start. Oh yeah, that's a good shout. It says just for 12 volt cars. This should jump start a completely dead car battery. 
on the first. How much did you spend on that jump pack? Between and 16 and 20 pounds. <laughs> Listen to it kick that thing over. Right, come on, girl. I believe in you. It is probably old fuel here as well. Yeah. There we go. That's next, next, I tell you now, she's gonna go. Oh, you did that out of spite for me not riding you. And I accept it. I have tweaked this bike a lot. Yeah. There's a lot. There's a lot of upgrades. Beautiful. It's now time for you to move on to your next phase. Come on, <laughs> come on, come on. This will all make more sense when we see a special place. So let's go to. See my special place. I mean, I've been inside the special place. You've you been in yet. my special place. I've been in your special place. Rummaging around. In my yeah, I was, place. I was. I was. I was literally leaving things in your special place. <laughs> oh, if I ever don't find stuff like that hilarious, just shoot me. So there she is, all packed up and ready to go. But I am getting on this. Yes. I shall see you there. Well, actually, you'll probably see me, but. Oh yes. <laughs> it is darker than I wanted, but nobody cares because we're going to ride a motorbike. If you're happy, ride a motorbike. If you're glum, ride a motorbike. If you're hungry, ride a motorbike. Right, keys. No, keys. Ha! Ah. Come on. We have life. We have no mirrors. Oh. Is there a choke? Is there a choke? Oh no. The question is, is the fuel on? Plug the freaking car. Has it got no fuel in it? Oh. What? Oh my god, it's a whole other machine. Right, so originally this was just going to be a GoPro shot of me riding to the surprise because we hadn't kind of planned any of this, it was just a thought in the moment. So I just thought, oh, I'll get some cool footage. Ended up, one, this happened, me being a moron, and then two, something else quite eventful happens which was absolutely unexpected and a load of other unexpected things happened alongside that it was too good to not show you. It so happens that this was my vlogging helmet, so I actually have a mic tagged into the helmet, so I do plug it in, but the sound isn't great, but if we do it again, it will be, but just listen to this bike. And that was about as much fun as I got to have because the bike promptly started to cut out and slow down until this happened. Out in the countryside with a closed petrol station, I ran out of fuel. Managed to finagle a little bit more into the reserve and I'll hand you off to the helmet mic. So we're on the reserve or the reserve of the reserve. So I'm going to try and nurse this back to a garage up the road. Get some fuel. Oh crap. Oh, we might be grinding through a halt here. Come on. Oh no, we're dead. And so begins my tale of woe, which has a very surprise turn of events. Run out of fuel. Because because Lee doesn't understand that to make bikes run, you need fuel. Luckily, look, that's a farm. And luckily, a dude there has just said he might have a litre of fuel to help me. He does amazing. If not, I live here now. And I have a bike for sale. It's only been ridden a few miles. <laughs> it's amazing. That's all right. It's very, very kind of you, okay. sir. Thank you. Oh, what a legend. Okay. Okay. Let's get to the garage. Oh, wheel spin. Shit, I don't have my lights on. Oh, shit. Ah! <laughs> oh, fucking it. What an idiot. We made it. Right. Oh no, dead. Oh God, I can't believe we made that. 
Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, we have an issue. Keys are falling out. Um, um, don't know what to do now. Uh, shit. Problem. Go for it. There was no fuel in it, ran out of fuel. Oh, okay, great. Farmer had to come out and help me and gave me a litre of fuel. Oh, God. I'm at the petrol station. Okay. Um, got to the petrol station, there's no keys in the ignition. That means they've fallen out? Yes. Yes, that's why we take them out. No, you didn't tell me that. I have now no way of getting to the fuel tank. I have whatever the farmer just put in there. I'll have to look for the keys, I guess, and hope that there's somewhere where I started. I can unload the bike if you want and come. Yeah, do that. I'll go and try and find the keys. Okay, dog. Nope, dead. Oh, I don't know. Well, if you don't mind trying. Well, this was a Street Fighter. He's only just chopped it all up and put it back together, so it's still working out the niggles. So I'm literally editing this part of the video now, and you will not believe what happens next. But that guy helped me to, number one, try and jump start the bike, which didn't work. Number two, an AA man then drove past us, and that guy helped me chase it down. He helped me chase down an AA guy. So if your faith in humanity has dwindled over the past few months because of the news, this is what happened next. Oh, cover. Should be good enough. Oh, oh. Yeah. Go on. Yes. There we go. Now I've just got to go find the key. <laughs> oh, it's all good. oh, thank you very much. I appreciate oh, you. Thanks. Thank you so much. Look thank you. Cheers, buddy. No keys here. Oh God. Yeah. So. Basically, what's happened? Ah, 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 ah. Come on, come on! Oh yes! Oh, get in, get in! You absolute fucking yes! Please! <gasps> come on! All right, try again. <laughs> Brilliant. So we found the keys. Fly. That didn't sound too good. And the reason it didn't sound good is because the carbs had not been allowed to fill up with fuel properly quite yet, but I didn't know this at this point. Then the bike promptly died because it hadn't been ridden enough to keep the battery charged. So I then had to drag it back up the hill and then basically demonstrate how you jump start a bike, which is put it in second, run it down the hill, jump on it and slam it down. <laughs> Look it! Right. Right front. You know what? Don't care. I love it. I love it. Oh, I don't know if the service is the suspension. Oh. Well, we're alive. <laughs> you can fucky fucking take those back. Let's go to the surprise. I'm so excited. I've not seen this yet. Behind these doors lies a very cool surprise. Let's switch back to phone cam. Three, two, one. That is now live and you can obviously see what's behind those doors. Ooh, it's exciting. Right, so there we have the before. And what I'll do is, on those final sets, I will take this top off my vest underneath so you can see a little bit of what's going on. Then we'll reveal all in the next episode. So in this one, let's just go through some of my favorite movements that I can stick in in a full body workout that's going to help me get back into the gym. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because, one, I have not only been off the gym for about two weeks now, I really haven't trained properly for the last three months. And I wanna use this as a reset point, as a restart point, as a commitment point to myself and to you guys. And to make that happen, I have to now stay healthy. So 
I'm gonna warm the body back in, make sure, because now it is colder, that obviously I don't tweak anything or do something silly. And the worst thing you can do is feel like you're better, feel guilty you haven't done anything, and then go back into the gym and smash the tits off it. And then just either tweak something or mess something up or make yourself so sore that you can't even train properly the next three or four days. You know, pros versus cons, you gotta weigh these things up. Also, I have to take into account and some moments sort of temperature. Pa -pa -ha. The main thing is, is that you are going to feel just as good after doing this kind of feeder workout to get back into things as you would by just going in and smashing it on a mental level. And this is something we're going to cover in a little bit more depth on the channel as well, is longevity, because time is our ally more than anything else. So if we can train for longer periods without injury and consistently, we are going to develop more progressively and we are going to overtake everybody who has short bursts of real gym fanaticism, but then has to fall back because of injury or overload or just they burn themselves out. So notorious for not doing it enough. What do is just move this through ranges of motion, break down any tissue that's caught up in there, and feel it. Once you let go of this band, once you take it off, it should feel nice and loose and If I'm going to do a couple of body parts, I won't just do a single body part and then move on to the next. So what I'll often do is overlap them. giving yourself no excuses. It's taking away the variables that give you escape routes. Uh, one more. So squeeze in my glutes, stop my hips swaying. So there you go, a little sneak peek of my workout there, and you'll be able to see the full before and after of the physique change in the next episode. Thank you all so much for joining in. Hit me up in the comment section with things that you want to see. We will be fully covering the workout you've just seen here in snippets in total detail in the next vlog, including all of the things that I set in motion to help maintain longevity, to help your joints, to build better mutter, better, better mutter? to build better muscle faster that will also stick around longer. That's right, the best of both worlds. And hopefully make you smile a little bit in the process. If there's one thing we've learned from this, it is that you need to chase the things that make you smile and you need to leave behind all the crap that pulls you down. If you've got energy vampires around you, cut them loose. It is gonna do you no harm to have fewer people around you if those fewer people are a positive benefit to your life and the ones that are gone have removed the negative. All that's done is boosted the overall positivity of your world. You are enough, you can do this, you are stronger than you think and braver than you believe. I promise you, no matter where you are, no matter what's going on, do not sit in that darkness. Do not sit in the mood. Do not let the zero energy 
habit, take a hold. Get up, get dressed, get ready, and get out. You don't know what opportunities you're gonna miss if you don't do it. You know that it's not gonna get any better staying where you are. So move, let's do this and let's do this together. Once again, thank you all, and I shall catch you in the next one. And don't forget, if you're really struggling, reach out, hit me up on Instagram, hit me up here. I will always do my best to get back to you and help if I can. Appreciate you. I'll see you in the next one. Boom, baby. Oh, ah. yeah, don't forget that small thing, you know, um, the fact that I've launched a whole new channel. So make sure to check that out. I want to thank you all for joining me once again. And then you'll be able to find out what's behind those doors, baby.